Hey guys, today we're getting for a possible power outage tomorrow morning, starting tomorrow morning because it's expected to be high winds so and whenever we have high winds there's a big chance that we might lose the power. Um, right now, this is Tuesday evening, um, the wind is still calm, Not doesn't look like anything might happen but um, the forecast for tomorrow morning starting 10, about 10 a.m. It's going to be high winds for the next about 30 hours. It's going to be high winds after that. So um, while we still have time, there are a few things we have to do <laughs> to make sure that we're still going to be doing okay. So the first thing I wanted to make sure is that we have enough gas for the generator in case we have to use it. In case the outage will be like longer than half a day, then we would use a um, generator. So I made sure we have gas and we have enough so I didn't have to go and get it. Uh, for the cars, um, my car is like three quarters full. My son's car is like three quarters full. And my husband's car, he just filled up. So um, we're good on gas for a while, especially... <laughs> If we might not end up going anywhere, it depends on the weather. Um, also, I wanted to make sure my all my devices and batteries are charged. So I charged my um, phones and um, tablet and uh, those batteries that you can uh, charge the phones with. I mean, those batteries are like you can charge outside with the sun, but it might take forever and I don't want to leave it at night. I mean, outside when it might rain. So I'll just charge it with the um, uh, outlet. Next, I wanted to make sure that those activities that use electricity, they have to be done, that I get them done, like the laundry. I checked, I have almost a full load of um, white color laundry. So I want to wash it so that we have um, socks and uh, towels and everything that's needed um dark colors are still not enough in there to wash so that can wait uh, also i wanted to make sure I, I vacuum my house so it's nice and clean and if i can't do it for like another few days or something we're still gonna be fine on that also um tonight i want to make sure everybody got showered well, like some of my kids did like today in the daytime, so I'm gonna shower later tonight to make sure that if I have to go without, it's not gonna take that long to go without shower if I do it now. I'm gonna fill up uh, some containers and uh, pots with the extra drinking water for us to use. I have like a pot, like a thermos pot where you can put the hot water in there and it's supposed to stay uh, warm for like 12 hours but if i have to warm something up i can bring those that little camp stove and either i can do it inside if it's for a short time or outside on the patio but you really don't want to be outside when it's windy also take out the trash like so you don't have to do it when it's bad weather and windy outside if if uh if we run out of uh our well water like if we were with that because without electricity is not gonna run so um in order to um, not have to use generator maybe as much we can use some water from the pool to flush the toilets um also when it's high winds i can't really use my wood stove because if if it's too windy the wind will blow the smoke inside and i don't want to do that so um, as soon as it starts getting windy, I'm not gonna add any more wood. I'm just gonna let um, wood, whatever is there, burn out, and uh, it's gonna stay warm for another maybe six hours or so. So we're gonna be okay with that. But also, if we get too cold, we're gonna have to start uh, the generator and use the um, regular um, house heat. Last but not the least is the food. Because I'm going to try to avoid cooking when it's, um, um, when, you know, when there's no electricity. Because even though I have gas uh, stove, it won't turn on if there's no electricity. Because um, it needs electricity to turn on. Like, even if I would 
started with the matches it just not it just it just uh, i don't know there's some kind of protection there that if there's no electricity it just shut, shuts off the gas to it too so um we just went to food for less and i bought some sandwich bread sliced bread so we can make a bunch of sandwiches because we have everything else but the bread at home and i'm yeah i could bake the bread but um it's the homemade baked bread is really hard to slice it in thin slices especially like right away maybe the next day or two days later you can slice it better but like it's gonna be hard to slice it so we just bought um the cheap store bread for the sandwiches so we can make a bunch of sandwiches uh, at home and also we can make a peanut butter jelly sandwiches we have lots of snacks at home and drinks too that we can um eat we can um if we have uh, hot water we can um make some oatmeal and other things so I'm, I'm gonna make sure we have stuff to eat without um it having to use refrigerator or like um without having it to cook like sandwiches i'm gonna make it and throw it in the fridge and so whether it's like fridge temperature or like almost room temperature it's still gonna stay good so it's supposed to be windy starting like at 10 a.m tomorrow until like 4 p.m the next day so it's like one and a half days of high winds that we might get power outage we had a power outage uh on christmas not christmas um a new year's eve and luckily it was only for one hour for us but for some people in the, um in our like county but a little bit more south they had more flooding they had like no electricity for um i think a couple days or something and that was really bad so if we end up with no electricity for i don't know a few days we're still gonna be fine so so what would you do if um you think you might lose the power how would you prepare put some suggestions down below for people who might want to prepare in case uh, someday they might need to prepare for power outage like we do now like right now it's not windy at all like everything's normal but i know by tomorrow morning it's gonna be windy